All right guys, Casey with Core Precision here and we're doing kind of a very basic concept series. I'm using my board here and my handy uh, ruler tool that I can simulate uh, you know, some targets onto the reticle of the scopes and then I can also kind of put, like you already see right there, some rounds and move them around and show you how we fix certain things. Now this, this video series is really going to be designed for, it's kind of a revisit with those basic concepts I did a couple years ago, but I did them on tabletop and today we're going to actually visit on a, a large whiteboard so I can make it a little more easy for those to understand. So keep in mind, this is designed for the person who doesn't really understand exactly how bullets act, uh, especially in relationship to a scope and they really don't understand what's going on. They just know they're supposed to do this to make it hit there, but they really don't understand why. So this is a really a basic um, video series, but it'll answer a lot of questions. And you know, who knows, maybe if you're not a basic shooter, you'll get something out of it too. All right, so first thing I wanna do is introduce you, like I said, to my tools. This is my board and my stick here. My board is broken up into sections. We're gonna talk about the difference between holding and dialing. We're gonna talk about, uh, we're not gonna get into the difference between well, what defining what mills and MOA are, but we're going to just kind of mention them and what they, how they, re, re, I mean, how they, uh, what they are uh, in <laughs> regards to the scope. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to talk about the scope in a very basic terms. So I'm not going to get into all the parts of it, but we are going to talk specifically about elevation and about windage, which is going to carry into the adjustments and where we'll talk about the mills and MOA. Uh, different types of reticles, as you see up here, different types of reticles. Uh, those are the site pictures that you're going to see inside the scope when you're looking at the target uh, and we're also going to talk about uh, the bullets performance right what it actually does in real life versus what Hollywood pretends like it does and that bullet performance in relationship to your line of sight which is what you see out of the scope uh, and then so that's what that's going to be on the board you will see that I have the ground drawn out here and it's very important to note that for this example uh, you're going to be shooting from a 35 35 inches above the ground okay that's your shooting position that's your barrel is 35 inches above the ground which is at which is going to be the exact halfway point or the exact center mass height wise of the target so you're so the the line of sight is is flat it's flush with the ground it's going the ground's level the scope's level and you're looking at uh, 35 inches above the ground is where your sight is uh, all the way across. So that's what we're looking at. And it's not that that's, that's only important because of the way I'm gonna show you thing, how things work, just the simplicity of it. All right, then you also have, underneath the scope, you have the barrel. The barrel in the scope, it doesn't show it here, but we're gonna simulate, pretend, like there's 1.5 inches between the two. So between the center of the scope and the center of the barrel, there is one and a half inches, okay, and that offset. And that's gonna be important, but I just didn't draw it that way. All right, this is not the scale, and I can't, I can't assure you that all the data here is correct. This is about concepts, not about you know, correct numbers and information and things like that. So just think of it as in context. But again, your shooting position, the ground, a 70 inch high target, 35 inches is gonna be center mass. The bore of the gun, the sight line size is gonna be 35 inches above the ground. So you're looking straight across. And we're gonna be simulating, the data's gonna be ish, close, to what, like a 308, a Hornady, 178 grain, hollow point, boat tail match. So that's gonna be what we're using. All right, now, um, the range is broken up into 100 yard increments, 100 yards, 200 yards, 300 yards, and we're gonna talk about all the way out to 800 yards, okay? Um, I think that pretty much covers it. My stick that I'm using here, you can see, it's got some transparent uh, targets on there, and then those red dots are going to be what we would call shot impacts. And the way what I can do is I can show you, for instance, there is where you're aiming and there's a round hit and we can talk about what to do. All right, so I can kind of superimpose targets. All right, you can see I can superimpose that along with, um, I can do it here, I don't know if I can do it from this distance, but you know, like a, a shot impact or whatever, I can show you like where you know it hits and we can talk about adjustments and stuff. So that's, that's why I'm using this thing. All right, um, guys, uh, that's your orientation, so make sure you click and watch part two. We're gonna get into the actual um, subject matter, okay?